Hey, what's going on? It's Will Graham, the Gorilla Gamer. Thanks for stopping by. It's the beginning of January, and I thought I'd go ahead and do... Well, it's not the beginning of January now. It's, uh... Damn, it's almost over. So let's go ahead and do a pickup video, and let's get started. These are in no order, so let's just get going. I found this at a... Uh, at a thrift store. And that is Wave Race Blue Storm... I am a big fan of the Nintendo 64 version. I loved it. I know maybe some people don't have nostalgia for the 64. Anyway, it's a great game. If you like the if you like the N64 version, you'll definitely love this. It's just like uh, better graphics. They updated it. It is a lot of fun, especially fun to play with a lot of friends. And I found this at a. Uh, at a thrift store as well, and I mainly got this because of the Nintendo 64 plastic protective uh, case it came in, but inside is uh, Pilot Wings, and I bought this for two bucks at a thrift store. I, I actually like Pilot Wings 64. Um, it's a great game. I can sit there and actually play that and Blast Corpse for hours, I don't know. Found this at the same thrift store, and it's a long box PlayStation 1 game, Battle Arena Toshinden 2. I used to play Battle Arena Toshinden 1 all the time when I first got my PlayStation 1. Um, I rented this one a long time ago, and I loved it. It's in great shape, too, um, and I love these long boxes with the art all inside and everything. But it's complete, and I picked this up for $2 as well. I bet a lot of people didn't even know it was a uh, uh, a game at this at this thrift store. I picked this up too at that thrift store. I picked this up for a dollar. Crime Killer for the PlayStation. I haven't got to play it yet, but with a name like Crime Killer, why why wouldn't I buy it? Um, my wife picked this up for me at Goodwill the other day, and. Uh, it or I'm sorry, Salvation Army, and it was two ninety nine, and it came with a manual, and uh, that is the Three Stooges. Um, I like this game from what I can remember. I used to have it on like a Commodore sixty four and stuff. I mean, and it was all pretty much kind of the same game, but it's a lot of fun. It's like a bunch of mini games that you have to get through to rescue some orphans. It's fun. I like it. I highly recommend it if you can find it for a good price too found this at a flea market. Um, it is a Game Boy, or a GameCube, uh, to a Game Boy SP uh, adapter. So like for Zelda Four Swords, or some of the games that use that ability, this goes with it. And I picked this up for 50 cents. At that same guy at that flea market, I also picked this up. And again, I picked this up mainly because of the protective case, but inside of it is almost a mint version of Rad Racer. It's one of my favorite racers. I've got a uh, double of them, so if anybody needs a Rad Racer, hit me up. We'll do a trade. Then, at that same guy in the flea market, he had this for two bucks, and that is Street Fighter II, the Special Champion Edition. I picked this up, because, and I think I have it, but um, I couldn't pass this one up. He had it taped up and everything, and it's got all the manuals and inserts and shit in there, so I had to grab this. He threw this one in for free, and that is Street Fighter II. Just, uh, I think this one is uh, the new champion ones. It's got you know the new guys like Cammy and all them in it. This one was not complete, um, but I picked that up anyway. Yeah. So then there was a garage sale I a few blocks down, and I went there, and uh, they were selling these for a dollar a piece. Um, a couple of Xbox 360 games I was pretty happy to get that I didn't have. Bioshock 2. Um, I don't know why I didn't have it, but I uh, picked that up, and I went ahead and picked up Gears of War 3. Um, I have this on a collection, but I just didn't have it in a standalone, so... Um, for a dollar a piece, really? I'll grab those all day long. All day long, and it has nothing to do with being a hoarder. It just has to do with I didn't have it. Picked up these at a Goodwill a few days, uh, I think last week sometime, but I picked up Revolution X for the Genesis, and that is an um, Aerosmith shooter. It's kind of fun, actually. It's not too bad. Get to use the justifier on it. 
and Gauntlet 4, which is pretty much just like your Gauntlets, but um, I had a lot of fun playing that, especially co-op. It's really fun. Let's see. I picked up this game here, which is a, uh, a game I never knew existed. Me being such a fan of Western games, this one's called Dead Man's Hand by uh, Atari. And let me tell you, this game is like a mixture of Gunsmoke and uh, it actually is just like if they took Gunsmoke from the old Nintendo and were to revitalize it for a current generation, this is it. It's kind of an arcade, kind of, uh, um, but it's first person, kind of like Red Dead, but first person. It's such a great game. I highly recommend this. I picked this up for two ninety eight at a Goodwill, and uh, now the disc is in my Xbox, but game complete. And uh, I can't recommend this one enough. Um, if you're a fan of Western games, grab it. You'll love it. I picked these up, too. Uh, this is a PlayStation game. It's World Wildest, World Scariest Police Chases. It's got John Bunnell from the show. It's it's gold. You got to get it. It's a lot of fun. To be, I mean, I didn't think it would be as fun as it was, but you got to check it out. And then I picked up Kickle Cubicle. Uh, I found this at a Goodwill. At the same Goodwill I found that one at. And it was two ninety eight. dollars So I, you rarely run into this. Or I've never seen it out in the wild. But, oh man, I grabbed that up pretty quick. Then I was looking through the books there. And I came across some comics of, uh, which it might glare, but it's Mega Man. I got Mega Man issue one. And then on inside of it is also Mega Man issue two. So I grabbed these up from the Goodwill book section, and they were 25 cents a piece. Well, it was, uh, this whole thing was 50 cents, so that was pretty cool. I grabbed that up. I'm a comic book fan, so I will definitely get that. Um, I also picked up a couple of these. Uh, I found some memory cards that were 25 cents a piece at this thrift store, and I picked up, uh, I think, like four of them. But here's one of them. And some newer stuff. I picked up... Uh, Super Mario Brothers, uh, <laughs> Super Mario Maker for the 3DS. I think I might have shown this before, but I couldn't remember. It's fun. That's all I'll say. You get to make Mario stuff. Then last night, my wife picked this up for me, and it is Dragon Quest Seven: Fragments of the Forgotten Past. Now, I'm going to put a link down to his channel below, but me and my buddy Cliff, he has it on the PlayStation. And what we're going to do is we're going to do like a co-op uh, playthrough together. And we're going to go um, on through this at the same time. And, uh, you know, to kind of see what the differences are between this version and the PlayStation 1 version. But mainly because this is my first jaunt into the Dragon Quest uh, series. So um, Cliff over at uh, Throwback Gaming, he's, uh, he's, he's an old veteran, old pro in this. So he's going to kind of help me along. But um, I'll put a link to his uh, channel below. And uh, go check him out, and then you can see us both kind of co op and through this one. But um, this game here, so far, I just, uh, I've only made it to the king at the beginning, and I'm loving it. I can't wait till we can, because uh, it's like a 90 hour game, and him and I are going to play it to the end. Most definitely. I think that is it. Uh, I'm, I'm all out of stuff. Um, I really didn't get that much stuff this month, just after Christmas and everything with the Switch coming out and all that stuff, even though I didn't pre-order it yet, but, um, there's, you know, money's tight right now just because it's after Christmas. That's all. That's pretty much it. After Christmas, um, you know, I got to save up a little bit of loot and, um, uh, you know, income tax is coming. So I'm going to be getting a lot of good stuff here soon. And I'm sure I even got some other stuff that I just, I'm forgetting um, I'm, I'm really bad. I've, I've got a really bad memory. But anyway, um, I've got a tag video coming from Jay from, um, from, uh, the NES Addict. So expect that. We got some tag stuff coming up over with the water cooler, uh, games discussion, Facebook group. And don't forget me and Cliff are going to be doing the co-op playthrough of Dragon Quest seven. And, uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Late.